1970s Jefferson Nickel with Full Steps. Graded in Mint State 66 by PCGS. According to Heritage Auctions, considering the nine-figure mintages produced during this period, the 1970s Jefferson Nickel is surprisingly scarce in full steps. The steps are completely delineated, and the satiny surfaces are beautifully preserved. Hints of nickel gold toning grace each side. It was sold for $6,462.50. Number 3. 1970 D. Kennedy Half Dollar. Graded in Mint Sate 67 by PCGS. Mint Set Only is the wrap attached to the 1970 D. Kennedy Halves, just like Proof Set Only is for the 1970 S. Kennedys, both the last, except for the one-off 1976 S. Bicentennial Halves, in the 40% metallic composition. One would expect decent preservation for Mint Sets, but the truth is that most 1970 D. Kennedy Halves appear quite sloppily and carelessly made. A superb gem such as this piece is a real prize for series enthusiasts and registry collectors. This piece offers a touch of golden patina on each side, and the few marks noticeable are relegated to an out-of-the-way area at the bottom of President Kennedy's neck. It was sold for $6,300. Number 2. 1970s Washington Quarter. Graded as PR64 by NGC. During the 1911-1936 era of the George v. Canada Quarter, the coin weighed 5.83 grams and had a diameter of 23.6 mm, compared to a clad Washington quarter weight of 5.67 grams and a diameter of 24.3 mm. The most likely cause of the present wrong planchet proof mint error is a prank, somebody surreptitiously added a silver Canada quarter to a bin of proof clad quarter planchets. That person had no hope of recovering the struck piece, and the gesture was presumably intended to invoke wonder or joy in the lucky eventual purchaser of the coin via a 1970s proof set ordered directly from the U.S. Mint. This highly elusive error coin was sold for $7,800. Number 1. 1970s Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 66 Red by PCGS. According to Stax Bowers, the 1970s Large Date FS101 DDO is a significant rarity in the Lincoln Cent series, ranking as the third rarest double die obverse behind only the legendary 1958 and 1969s varieties. A fairly recent discovery in the double die arena, this rarity was not publicized until 1974 and later on a larger scale in Coin World in 1976, according to Breen's Encyclopedia. Satiny, nearly brilliant luster blankets both sides of this exquisite upper end gem. The complexion is bathed in original light orange mint color that glows radiantly under illumination. Well struck and without notable blemishes, leaving the doubling clearly defined on the obverse legends. It was sold for $18,000. Thanks for watching this episode. If you found these information helpful make sure to hit subscribe and like buttons before you move on with another video. God's willing, see you in the next episode.